changes. I think both guys are a tad winded here. Yeah, well, fighting as much as they did in the clinch, I would expect them to be tired. That's, you have to exert a lot of energy there. Both fighters, fairly heavy hitters. They both appear to be looking for that one big punch, that big uh, haymaker there. But they're not getting them. Now, both fighters have good chins. Very evenly matched bout. Lost his footing there. Ubersol just going after it now. Ubersol unloading on Bergmark. Oh, and they almost pop out almost of the ring. out of the octagon. The Oop, battle the gone. Battle gone. Well, it is the shape of an octagon. But it's not an octagon cage. So no trademark infringements there. Excellent. <laughs> Can't trademark a shape. <laughs> Oh, Good very knee. nice knee. Good knee by Ebersole. Didn't have a great deal of effect on Bergmark. Bergmark stalking Ebersole. Looks like he is just looking to unload. Ebersole backing up. Either that or he's wind. looking to catch his, yeah, catch his breath. Bergmark once again stocking forward. I don't know if that's a good idea, keeping those hands down at that close a distance. Yeah, that would be uh, pretty risky. Bergmark throwing some bombs, not really landing them, but uh, not for lack of effort. Yeah. That's Actually, it was both of them. Ah, good point. Good point. Both fighters seeming content to trade some blows here. I think they're trying to catch a second wind. Ebersole shoots for the double leg. Red sprawl. It sprawls out, and let's see where we go from here. Oh, Ooh. nice knee. And that is legal in uh, IFC under rules. IFC rules. It was not directly to the crown of the head. Herb's telling him to stop with the knees there to the top of the head, it looks like. Yeah, that, that would be directly into the crown, and that yep. would be a violation. it has got the arm and guillotine again, but not trying to set it, keeping his hips back. He's not wanting to get taken down. Nice knee, and what a brawl. Both these guys are just throwing leather. Ebersol visibly winded here. I think Bergmark a bit winded also. Oh yeah, there it is. Hands on the knees, not a good sign. Brett looking to wind up. We may not make it to the third round. Oh, very nice left. He's almost taking the same stance that uh, Nick Diaz had, keeping that hand down. The, the baiting stance, as you put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as he's walking backwards, he's all right. But uh, hopefully he does not forget. Oh, Ooh. nice exchange. Heavy hands by Bergmark. And they are tied up. He was so nice attempt oh. at a takedown. And looked nice like he was attempt at an arm bar. I was going to say, it looked like he was going for the arm on the way down. Beautiful. Just stepped over, but... Uh, Ebersol able to escape. Ebersol on top in the full guard. Bergmark taking a couple shots to the head from, from the guard there. Bergmark's legs open. Maybe trying to set something up here. Or create some distance because he took a couple shots to the head there. But they're going to keep exchanging and I don't know if Dean's going to stand him up or let him continue. No, neither fighter afraid to exchange on the ground, that's for sure. You were so looking. I don't think those punches amount to too much, nothing behind them. No, I think both fighters are very fatigued at this point. 
Birdmark wants to get up. Wow, we made it through the second round. These guys are winded. That's the end of round